Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are doing great. It is a pleasure to be here with you guys today because today I'm going to start off a new series and this series is about psychiatric cases. So we're just going to read um, some cases that I got from a really good book called the DSM-5 Clinical Cases by John W. Barnhill. And uh, I'm going to tell you about the case and I'll leave you with a chance to try to diagnose them, try to discuss about uh, possible differential diagnoses and even possibly about um, the causes of their condition. And then we will um, go ahead and talk about the answers in, a, in the next video. Okay, so today's case um, is called Unfairness. And this was written by Charles L. Scott in the DSM-5 Clinical Cases book. So Ike Crocker was a 32-year-old man referred for mental health evaluation by a human resources department of a large construction business that had been his employer for two weeks. At his initial job interview, Mr. Crocker presented as a very motivated and provided two carpentry school certificates that indicated a high level of skill and training. Since his employment began, his supervisors had noticed frequent arguments, absenteeism, poor workmanship, and multiple errors that might have been dangerous. When confronted, he was reportedly dismissive, indicating that the problem was cheap wood and bad management, and added that if someone got hurt, it's because of their own stupidity. When the head of when the head of HR met him to discuss termination, Mr. Crocker quickly pointed out that he had ADHD and bipolar disorder. He said that if, he, if not granted accommodation under the American with Disabilities Act, he would sue. And he also demanded a psychiatric evaluation. Hmm. During the mental health evaluation, Mr. Crocker focused on the unfairness at the company and on how he was a hell of a better carpenter than anyone there could ever be. He claimed that his two marriages had ended because of jealousy. He said that his wives were always thinking I was with other women, which is why they both lied to judges and got restraining orders saying I'd hit them. As payback for the jail time, he refused to pay child support for his two children. He had no interest in seeing either of his two boys because they were little liars like their mothers. Mr. Crocker said he must have been smart because he had been able to make C's in school despite showing up only half of the time. Why, what I mean by make C's is to get grade. The gra his grades were C. Like out of grades of A, B, C, and D and F, he got C's. So he said that's really good because he doesn't really go to school and he still got average grades. He spent time in juvenile hall at the age of 14 for stealing kid stuff like tennis shoes and wallets that were practically empty. He left school at the age of 15 after being framed for stealing a car by his principal and framed here he's basically saying that he didn't really do it but he was set up by someone else. Uh, Mr. Crocker pointed out that these historical facts as evidence that he was able to overcome injustice and adversity. In regard to substance use, Mr. Crocker said he smoked marijuana as a teenager and started drinking alcohol on a regular basis after he first got married at age 22. He denied that, that use of either substances was a problem. Mr. Crocker concluded the interview by demanding a note from the examiner um, saying that he had bipolar and ADHD. He said that he was bipolar because he had ups and downs and got mad real fast. So he got, he got a temper, basically. Mr. Crocker denied other symptoms of mania. He said that he got down when disappointed but had a short memory and could get out of a funk pretty quickly. Um, I think what he meant by that is that he... You know, he, when he, he gets disappointed, but he doesn't linger on his disappointment for too long because he usually would forget all about it and get out of the depressive or you know, his disappointment pretty quick. Like he's a pretty cool guy. He reported no difficulties in sleep, mood, or appetite. 
He learned about ADHD because both of my boys got it. He concluded the interview with a request for medications. So again, he's, he's requesting medications, um, adding that the only ones that worked were stimulants, and he said that any of them worked, and a specific short-acting benzodiazepine. So it seems that he has pretty good knowledge of um, medications like these. Um, on mental status examination, Mr. Crocker was a casually dressed white man who made reasonable eye contact and was without abnormal movements. His speech was coherent, goal-directed, and of normal rate. There was no evidence of any thought disorder or hallucinations. He was preoccupied with blaming others, but these comments appear to represent overvalued ideas rather than delusions. He was cognitively intact. His insight into his situation was poor. So basically he didn't, you know, really have any insight about why all this stuff was happening. Uh, the head of human resources did a background check during the course of the psychiatric evaluation. Phone calls re revealed that Mr. Crocker has been expelled from two carpentry training programs and that both his graduation certificates were falsified. Okay, so basically he was using false documents. He had been fired from his job at one local construction company after a fist fight with his supervisor and from another job after abruptly leaving a job site. So he just left. A quick review of their records indicated that he had provided them with the same false documentation. Okay, so that about ends it for this case. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section what you think this um, guy had. And uh, it'll be interesting to hear your discussions. And in the next video, uh, later on this week, I will post the answer and the, uh, the not just the answer, but an explanation um, according to the DSM-5 criteria and hopefully possible uh, ventures into the possible cause of what he has. Thank you for joining me and I will be seeing you very, very soon.